going against my my better judgment thinking that we're not supposed to be here yet we're gonna go ahead and send it we're gonna battle the the king beetle we got a bed down ow oh he's just letting me Ooh. okay so he does a three a three thing attack there oof we're just gonna whittle him down we fought many bosses at this point we know what we're doing he's slow it feels like okay three pronged attack two three. Oh, i got hit by the last one one two oh three okay i got hit by all of them literally all of them we band-aid Okay, let the Band-Aid do its work. Let the Band-Aid do its work. Let the Band-Aid do its work. Oh, man. Three prong attack. One, two, three. Yes. Three prong attack. One. Crap, no stamina. Two. Just eating it. Just eating it. <laughs> God, that's, that happens too quickly. I can only get like one attack off at a time. Oh, I ate that one. We need to band-aid. Oh, what's he doing? Is he pooping? He's pooping. Okay, we got some big attacks in there. One, two, three. Come on, King Staggy. One, two, three. We are gaming now. Oh, no, no, we're not. I'm sorry. I take it back. I take it back. He called me on my crap. We got some big hits in there. Oh, one, two. Oh, good. A storm's coming. <laughs> Am I sheltered in here? Actually am. Actually sheltered in here. He's pooping again. One, two, three. Okay, I have no stam. So we wait. Okay, there's this three prong attack. We wait, we wait, we wait. Stam, stam, stam. Okay, we get him in the next wave. We get him here. Um, ba -ba, da -da 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 Ancient Clover Seal. We got him. The key! We got the key. Okay, so does the chest unlock the pickaxe? Because I don't think it does. <laughs>
I just battled a king rhino beetle, king stag beetle, and a, and a rhino beetle. But that was the first one we battled. I'm feeling, I'm feeling tough, lizard. I can tame your cousin, the gecko, so I'm not afraid of you. Anything, anything, anything. More lizard claws. Okay. You don't unlock anything for me. I'm gonna make more band-aids, so we're gonna work our way back to the elder and back to home. But we're, excuse me there, Hornet. We don't need you for nothing. You don't need you for nothing. I want me a stag. One more. I just want to kill one more to see if he drops the, the thing that we need. If we could find, like, if I could find one. They were everywhere a moment ago, and now they're, like, nowhere to be found. Did I get too close to the beach? All right, it looks like I did. This mystery will never be solved. It'll never be solved until we kill another stag beetle uh, centuries from now, in the, sometime at an undetermined point in the future when we come back to this area. Uh, we did kill one, so it didn't drop the thing. I, I mean, I'm just going to assume that what we got was what we got because he dropped heavy chitin, right? So maybe he's just a source of heavy chitin. What we got is what we got. Uh, we're back on mainland and the elder is just to the north. Back at the very beginning, where we first started, we're here to talk to the Elder and unlock this chest. It's definitely probably not going to contain the recipe to the pickaxe that I've been looking for. <laughs> Hello, Elder. Greetings, Vanguard. Uh, Elder, I believe I have found the Clover Key. What? Let me see it. This is indeed the Clover Key. Well done. Where'd you find it? It was chained to a giant creature within a cave in the ruins. Uh, we'll need to get to the bottom of this. I, you know, I wonder if you could like legit just skip to the from the beginning to the end of the game and like super try to try to like Iron Man it. Uh, we'll need to get to the bottom of this. But for now, time's of the essence. Retrieve the elixir of life from the chest and bring it to me. We'll do. Oh, it's a storm. It's a storm. It do be storming today. I feel like I'm getting baited here. Like, I, I, I found the key. I've done all this stuff. And why do I have to, like, open the chest? What's it? Is it, is it really the elixir of life or is something? Is it a spider in there, isn't it? Insert the thing into the thing. Dun, dun, dun. It's a scroll. A floating scroll. It's the most ominous type. It looked like a little bit, like, uh, a little bit of a sword on that. Did you see that? Like, the, the scroll had, like, a, a, a picture of something looking like a sword. Healing potion recipe half. I didn't accidentally beat the game. There's more to it. Hooray. Oh, no, what's happening? No, don't do the crash thing. Oh, why? It, we've been doing, we've been doing so good. We've been doing so good. Ah, oh, small land. Please fix this dumb crash. We get to unlock the chest again. So keep an eye out for the sword. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, insert the thing. It says healing, but it looks like there's a sword on there. We're going to look at it. Okay, see how, like right there at the, where it starts to tear off? That looks like a sword. The sword heals you by killing you, I guess. I don't know. I want it to be, I want it to be a sword, not a heal, <laughs> not a healing question. All right, we got it. No crash, no crash, no crash. Perfect. Uh, talk to the elder. Uh, elder, I've opened the chest. All contains was, was this scroll. A scroll? Where's the elixir of life? Let me see. It's written in the old tongue. Very few people alive today know it. Uh, I'm sending you to Teodric, the historian. He is well versed in the old tongue and should be able to help us decipher the scroll. Where can I find this guy? Uh, he has made a settlement below the giant's ancient sanctuary. It sits atop of the ruins just across the broken bridge. Uh, Teodric spoke once of a hidden path that leads inside, but it may be easier to find a way of crossing the bridge. Once across, search the depths of the sanctuary. You should find Teodric there, no doubt surrounded by his books. 
Request his aid in translating the scroll. It will be done. And I learned how to make a damsel fly treat. Let's go. We can fly. I didn't accidentally beat the game. I was so excited. Or I was, I was, I'm so excited that we didn't. I was so afraid that we might have. Because uh, there's so much left undone. There's so much left that I want to do. And I still haven't figured out how to make that pickaxe. Back at root home once more. I guess in my haste or just general Nick-like ways, I skipped over the spike pickaxe. We had already unlocked it, and it would have had to have been from like an iron shard pickup, which we did a while back, right? So this entire time I've been thinking like, where's, what am I gonna unlock to make the spike pickaxe? I've already had it unlocked. So it, it took me a little while to get to here, I guess, but we got here, so. If you were screaming at me in the comments, like, yo, Nick, you 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 skimmed past, you go back. Uh, I heard you, there was a slight delay, but I, I, I finally heard you and we finally got to it. So, moving right along, we're gonna do some storage here. Uh, I'm gonna store, this is my just general chest of storage and crap. I've stopped feng shuiing the base for now because I feel like once we get this clay stuff, this clay mortar, we're gonna start to hit the stone building tier. And when that happens, uh, Root Home's going to get remodeled quite a bit. I have uh, I thought I was going to have enough space initially with the build, but I feel a little cramped. I'm not going to lie to you. It's a pretty, it's a, it's a big house, uh, but I never used like the third floor. I built kind of like for pretty and not necessarily for aesthetic or, or, or for, uh, for function. I built aesthetically, but not necessarily for function. Um, I'm going to do both function and aesthetics in the next build, but we're going to unlock stone building before we do that or get there. Uh, let's depot some stuff. Let's put my charcoal and all that goodies over here in this one. I've kind of tried to keep a bit of a system now. Uh, we have heavy chitin, e just the bug general buggy parts. Uh, put you here, the stinger. What else did I have? The lubber leg and... Everything else is kind of fine. We'll stick the neck. Oh, oh, I forgot about the claws. Uh, that's not the right one. I got those lizard claws, right? We'll put those in there. And then everything else. Try, trying to keep my system somewhat intact here, especially since there's not a sort button. If there was a sort button, it would be so, so nice. So, so nice. Uh, probably to be added in the future. There we go. Bones in that one. Uh, then I guess... I'll put chitin over here. I think I was already doing it. Yeah. Heavy chitin I had stored over here, but I think I should really move it. Heavy chitin, you come with me. I don't like you over there. So now that we're done with our inventory feng shui, I have to make this um, this this pick and we can go get some clay. So we need the iron shards. Now, I should have plenty here. I think it was only five. Uh, I should have done this as I was feng shuiing, but I kind of like lost track of myself. And refined wood. Also have it right here. Everything else we got in our inventory. Uh, refined wood. We'll take the 15 stack and craft away. Bum, bum, bum. We have a new pick and we can make all the clay stuff. We're going to move this to here. Boop. Okay, where's my other one? Here you are. Boop, put you over there. This one down there and we're going to retire it. So I've got a chest, the one we were just looking at. Most of this is just retired gear. Uh, and, and not most of it. In fact, all of it is just retired gear. Stuff that I haven't been using in a while, but don't necessarily want to like get rid of completely or just throw on the ground and let it and let it disappear. So we're we're keeping it in that chest. I'm okay on band-aids with one, I think. I don't plan on getting in two terribly many fights. And I have enough honey crumbles and fiber. Let me just make some more. Anytime I have honey crumbles, I should probably just send it into the band-aids. It's not like I don't use them, right? Okay, we have plenty now. And we'll store our honey crumbies. I'll put this stuff back, the uh, the shards and the wood. Boop, boop. Let's go for a fly. Let's go for a, a, a glide. Put my roach meat in. Do I have food? Uh, I have three. Just grab some of the pre-made stuff that I got. Boop. Grab some of that roach stack and we'll eat up. Yum, red jerky made from real roach meat. Okay, we're, we're topped off. Now we want to fly. I moved my encampment over here to the el where the elder was. We need to fly back over here to the king's stag beetle area. And if I encounter a, a bigger tree here in this general area, I don't think there's one at all here in the ruins area. I may move it there just for easy, easy peasies and lemon squeezies. 
But our next objective in game is to head to the historian. But I've skipped so much accidentally because of my pick Sherbuckle, my pick situation, that that is all I uh, kind of all I want to do. I'm that's a whole tier of weaponry that I could have had going into the King Stag Beetle fight. I was fighting it a tier weaker than I needed to. And that is just unforgivable. Unforgivable. All right, our tree has now successfully been moved to an area where I can easily glide. Oh, I should stop going to the map when I'm gliding. Easily glide over here to collect more clay. And we have quick access to the ruins. I think this is kind of a, a smart, smart play is to have that tree there so we could just quick, quick glide. Now there's clay everywhere here. Absolutely everywhere. And the first inaugural whack is going to give us nothing. Still nothing. Is it just too high? Do I have to jump on clay whack? We have unlocked stone. I knew it. I knew we were going to do this. Stone. Okay, clay mortar is the secret to all of our next tier of building. It's just the secret. So we need so much of this because I want to build. I want to build so much. I want to build so, so, so much. All right, so we're going to need clay just for absolute days. What else do we have here? Um, I'm just watching this. I don't want to hit tab and like knock off the codex and clay bandage. Really? After I just made all those honey crumbles. Clay mortar in the in the windmill. Oh, I can make clay mortar now from what? From what? We're missing one recipe in the stone cutter. It looks like two in the apothecary table. Where's the windmill here? So bug lymph and clay makes clay mortar in the windmill. Clay mortar is what I need to make stuff in the forge or the furnace. I think we'll have to go back and take a look at that. And let's go check out our stone. Where's the stone stuff? Can we just, I guess we could just check it from the build menu, right? It's not going to be in here. Nope, guess not. All right, we'll just check it from the build menu. See what we're looking at. We have building. Let's do foundation first. Stone foundation, stone convex foundation, wood, stone, clay mortar. We're going to have to be doing a lot of stuff in the windmill then. A lot of stuff in the windmill. But for now, we gather clay until our eyes bleed. In our wanderings and just insane amounts of clay farming, we've discovered, thought there was more clay down there. We discovered a small area with candles and uh, another skull. And as I like peeked over here, it seems to be like another NPC person. I haven't interacted with it yet because I was just like, oh, this is something new and crazy and scary. And we haven't discovered it yet, but it's in this swamp like area and as we've been wondering of course i've been keeping everything repaired because i don't want to i don't want this thing to be the spike pickaxe to be like i have to spend iron shards or whatever to repair it that seems really expensive we managed to get three six nine one hundred total pieces of clay ready to make into hopefully all of our next best stuff this pixie creature looks like a troll like if there's ever a swan oh she's chunky if there's ever a swamp witch, she is one. She's got mushrooms being roasted. And I wonder if in typical fashion, she teaches me uh, armor. I just, I just literally walked through her house without saying hi. Let's talk to you and see what's going on, crazy swamp witch lady. If I could get past your stairs. Tahala. I think. I don't know. I'm a, uh, who are you? Why have you come here? I'm a vanguard sent to explore these lands and uncover any dangers that may threaten people. Vanguard, huh? I don't have time for idle chatter or casual visits. I suggest you leave. Uh, how do you manage all the way out here by yourself? Do you need any help? That's a quest. I manage just fine. Actually, there is one thing. You can fight, yes? If you help me acquire an ingredient, then I may consider sharing some of my secrets with you. What do you need? The spider matriarch deep within the forest. So this is Fang's spider matriarch. Why? I thought we were done with this that are a rare ingredient for my potions. If you're willing, I give you someone with your skills to retrieve them from me. I don't know if I would have ever gotten brought here in the quest line. Maybe you're just kind of like supposed to discover this person. Uh, not sure it's worth the risk. I'll think about it. I'll leave now. Let me see, let me see if she marked anything. 
Uh, spider. Oh, it's like right next to my tree home. Well, that actually works out. That actually really works out. Then I guess we will fight the ho horrible spidery overlord. And we're going to do the fast travel method. What's the fast fast travel method, you might ask? Well, we're going to save our character and then we're going to quit the game. Bye. And then we're going to play the game. Select Tiny Nick. Select the world. And then in we go. As I have to take, just take a casual sip. As we wait and load in. Ah, oh, there we are. The fastest of travels. We're back at the base. Uh, so it'll, if you do that, it'll put you like at your last spawn point. Well, hail. Spider Matriarch being right there, we could go battle. Uh, but first things first. Make some clay mortar. See if it teaches anything new. Clay mortar is one length, two clay. So I can make 50 total. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, it didn't, um, it didn't teach me anything new. So... I, oh, I can make heavy chitin in the furnace now. It did teach me something new. W, the TF. I think I have bug lymph out here. Yeah, I do. This is like my overflow chest of things that I wasn't sure if I was going to need. I try not to throw anything away. You know, problems of being a pack rat. Boom, boom. I'm glad I saved all that bug lymph. I don't want to murder all my clay all at once, but it's not like it's hard to get, so. Uh, boom. We'll stop with eight. So we've got eight clay left and plenty of, plenty of lymph. So that gives us 46 total clay mortars. I think we could do something pretty good with 46 total clay mortars. Uh, and we'll start by trying to make something in the furnace. No, we won't. We unlocked chitin, clay mortar, and charcoal for heavy chitin. Okay, that's, I want to check that. We want to build. We want to build the forge. And that is 10 stone bricks. I think I have. Oh, I'm getting, I'm gonna have to go to the, hope nothing else. Stone requires stone. Stone building requires stone. I'm gonna have to go uh, back to the original area of where we we're at. Uh, we need flint. Flint, here we go. I'm gonna have to go back to the like original ant mines. Holy nuggets. I think it was just five. I hope it was just five. It's going to be ten, isn't it? I knew it. <laughs> I hoped, but I was wrong. We're going to have to go to the ant mines to get more stone. I haven't gotten stone in a really long time. Uh, here, we'll put you up here. Just because I'm running out of space. Down by the downs. Ah, that was the oven! No! Oh! I thought that was... Okay. I, I think I needed that anyway, but that's not what I wanted to build. This is what I wanted to build. Oh, no, stone bricks. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Evan. This is more important. If you were yelling at me like, hey, Nick, you're, you're, you're building the wrong thing. Um, I swear I heard you. String. I swear I heard you. This is what we want. Iron ch Iron chest. I love me some bigger storage solutions. Heck yeah. Iron pickaxe. Harvest damage is 80. Harvest damage is 50 on the spike. Okay, we're going to make one of those. Charcoal, fiber, resin, iron ingot, lubber mace. I can finally make this lubber a freaking mace. <gasps> Nothing requires the charcoal, the, the, the clay mortar though, right? <laughs> Just making sure. I gathered so much of that. Morning star? Pierce damage and blunt. What's the lubber mace? Blunt damage is 24 to 33. 21 to 28. I, I, I'll make the warning star. It's a, it's a, not a triple threat, but it's a double. It's a double threat. Iron scythe is as damage 21 to 35. What's the sword? 24 to 31, 33. Uh, an unwieldy curved blade cause, that causes devastation, devastating damage. Durability is 320. Oh, same as the sword. Okay. Uh, we might make one of those because I really like the grasshopper scythe. That had a really cool and neat um, neat animation. Iron hammer. Oh my god, it just dwarfs the, the lubber mace. So the lubber mace is less stam, though. What's the morning star? Ooh, Okay. Um, 
So I would make the Morning Star for Pierce damage, actually, because it's a 30 stam use, the same as the hammer. Edged damage, though. The axe has a higher top damage than the sword. And the same stamina requirement, but I think the, tr the trade-off there is that the reach is a little bit less. The Iron Scythe has double the crit damage. I'm going with, I'm going, I'm going Scythe. We're going Scythe. Okay, let's get all of our resources together and we're going to make these weapons. So after a little bit of light farming, just to go out and get some of the things that we were missing, I should have enough to craft everything that I need except for the Morning Star which would be the weapon that I use for pierce damage that would replace the triple threat poison mace. The reason for that is the lizard claws. I would need to kill one, maybe two more lizards, and I can make that. But that's not that's not terrible. Uh, first things first, iron pickaxe. Dun, 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 dun. Then iron hammer for big blunt damage. Boom. And then for edge damage, we decided on the scythe. Bing. Okay, and I have eight ingots left after all of that, which is enough for the Morning Star. Cool. Uh, I'm going to depot all of my stuff here and put away the older things that we no longer use, uh, being this one. Uh, we'll replace that with our scythe. I, I wonder if there's the combo. Triple threat replaces you with this. The hammer for big blunt damage. Uh, I didn't make any um, any of the iron chests either. We'll we'll have to revisit that later. Iron pickaxe. Okay, cool. We're all equipped here. Let's do a couple of like test swings, shall we? Is this the same as the grasshopper? It is. It's the same. Oh, it does the combo. It does the combo wombo. Hmm, I like it. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, we got big damage coming our way now. We are. Absolutely prepped. Let's pull out our torch here because it's starting to get dark. And now, does the destruction of Rootholm happen? I didn't go out and get stone. That's the one thing that I still need to do. We got clay mortar. Uh, I think I used up all of my scrap iron. Yeah, we used up all of it, so we'll put that back. Clay mortar and our five stone that we have, and we should be able to start doing stone-related building stuff, right? Yes, we can. Oh, yes, we can.